Greetings Earthlings, this is the first video in a series of deck techs where I'll be tackling commanders that may be a bit odd to build around or can just generally be fun. Today I'll be discussing one of my jankiest but most fun decks to play, Hakeem Laura Weaver. For 2 blue blue, he's a 2-4 legend that's never been reprinted since Mirage so I don't think he has a proper creature type, not that I've seen anyway. But for 2 blue, you can return an aura or creature enchantment from your grave to the battlefield attached to him. The Achilles tendon of that is that you can only do it on your upkeep and he has to have no auras on him when you do it. But the bright side to it is that you can do it for as many times as you can pay the cost. And then his secondary ability is pay 2 blue and tap him to blow up all enchantments attached to him. So let's break this down, shall we? One of the first things I notice about this type of commander build is you want auras in the graveyard. So lots of draw discard spells like Frantic Search and Factor Fiction are useful to ensure that those auras are going to the grave and leaving space for more card draw for things that actually matter. Now there are chances that you can discard non-enchantment things, but that's where cards like Archaeomancer and Crucible of Worlds come in handy. This deck wants a lot of islands, 33 to be exact. You know, kind of to make use of cards like Flow of Knowledge and Floodgate. Another gilded goose of this deck is Wonder, who always wants to be in the graveyard. So then, enchanted or not, it's going to make your creatures a pain to deal with in combat. I also run Melody's Astronomer and the Temporal Anchor in this deck to give you some more top deck manipulation. And if you're playing against someone who can really screw with your hand, it's a great way to kind of get some cards out of the way without them having to be in your grave or your hand. And things in Exile are... are Tremendously harder to interact with unless you're it's just an outright counter spell But uh, just don't exile instance with it because you can only play spells exiled with it on your turn Cards like Academy Research hmm, Yes words <laughs> Cards like Academy of Researchers and Arcanum Wings are great if you want to cheat out the enchantments that you do have in your hand Portal of Sanctuary can save a creature in a pinch if need be Another fun addition to this is Glaring Spotlight. Cards like Swiftfoot Boots and Shalai Voice of Plenty are pretty common in Commander games, and this deck wants to be able to not just slap auras on its own creatures, but opponents too. And it has a fun feature of sacrificing itself to give your creatures hexproof in an emergency and make them unblockable. You know, because this deck doesn't run a lot of creatures, in fact it only runs about 13, one of which being Rootwater Matriarch who can seal any creature that's enchanted. So Thievery Effect Auras like Control Magic and Coffin Skid are really useful. Especially because if someone removes a creature and the aura goes to the grave, you can just fish it back out with Hakeem. Which is where this next category of cards comes in handy. Cards like Aura Graft and Enchantment Alteration are all stars in a pinch, but they don't care compare to the single most important artifact in this deck, Crown of the Ages. For 4 mana and a tap, you can swap any aura to any other creature. It doesn't even have to be an aura that you control. Someone on your field has a Bear Umbra or Gift of Immortality, well now it's yours. For that reason I run Step Through. For uh, more specifically, it's Wizard Cycling ability, which is pretty efficient since this deck runs about 8 wizards, but the one that really helps get that crown out is Tribute Mage, and the fact that you can cycle it at instant speed is a bonus. But why stop there? A card like Rootwater Shaman can make it so you can just sit back and turn your aura spells into cantrips to really catch your opponents off guard. The fact that we're constantly going to be pulling things out of the grave makes River Kelpie an absolute badass on the field. And the combo of Iridescent Drake and False Demise with a sack outlet like Ashnod's Altar, which can be a great insurance policy if someone destroys your control magic but you don't want to have her creature back, means you can draw out your entire deck and drop in my boy Laboratory Maniac, which can also fish out with Step Through. But let's talk about the big mama of this deck, the one that any Hakeem player worth their salt or anyone who knows Aura should have already predicted, Eldrazi Conscription. This menace of an 8cmc Aura is normally a late game cast but Hakeem can fish it out of the grave for 2 and if you're fishing it out with him that means he's already been out for a turn. So no matter which way you slice it, that is what makes him a dirty commander in that regard. A 12-14 with Trample and Annihilator 2? That's only two swings till commander damage death. And if you're stealing their creatures, that's going to make it really hard to completely blunt that damage. Not to mention, Annihilator will sometimes force him to sacrifice lands. Overall, this deck sits at about a 4-5 to five power level, but it can easily be overlooked and hits you like a brick if you're not careful. If you'd like to check out the entire deck, I'll post a Moxfield link to it in the description. See you later! Real quick, one thing I forgot to mention about 
Arcanum Wings during that video is that that aura swap ability can be used at instant speed. So if someone is trying to spot remove your creature, you could swap it into your hand with something like Robo Mirrors to stop that. One of my favorite synergies is pairing Psionic Gift with a card like Charisma. Because you just tap it, deal a damage to a creature, and you could steal it. Sigil of Sleep works that way too, because you could tap it and just deal a damage to an opponent, and that will trigger. It doesn't have to be combat damage. I didn't really go too much into detail in this video about the auras that are in it, because it's really open-ended. You could really run any auras that you want, but there are some that are just better than others. If you want to see what I mean, check out the link in the description.